Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard. And we are continuing our game as the Aztecs. Where we last left our nation, we beat up on England and took London from them. I don't think they wanted it anyway. Reminds me of the multiplayer um, developer session. Where Johan lost England. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. I want to pay for him. We'll get these guys. Eh, they're not really safe in this bomb down. If Portugal attacks us and brings in Spain. So we'll drop them off in northwestern Africa. Well, I don't like that alliance system that they have, so I would kind of like to, at some point, be able to attack Messina as a way of fighting Spain without all their support. However, they're always going to have Austria backing them up, unless Austria becomes disloyal. And that's certainly one of my goals. to encourage Austria to become disloyal at some point. Okay, so Pippo finished. And court. And then let's start working on Managua. Hoping that these two nations have been nice enough to save up some cash for us. I could check. But, I mean, at this point, we're going to invade them anyway, so I will just disparage them if they fail to save up some cash for us. And they will know that they have wronged us, and they'll probably feel pretty bad about it. Become our vassal. Uh, no, that's not going to work for us. We want your money. Give us your money. Um, did your army retreat? The army retreated. Yeah, well, do that. Okay, conquer Kent. I don't have any interest in doing that right now. And we wouldn't be able to complete that for some time, so that's. That's not what we're going to do. We're going to wait for another mission. Now this is dangerous because their trips could be hiding out here. I don't know if they went west or south. Okay, um, let's try to get our tech balanced a little bit better. Okay, we can fabricate here. Just don't have any trips to invade yet, so let's go ahead and call them off. Leave these guys here because they're siege ability. Over this fort defense. Okay. We need to give our clergy a little bit more land than Okay, that's where their army went. That's fine. They can run around over here all they wish. Um, how do we give this to our clergy? Pretty decent trade goods. Maybe we should have given something up here, but... Okay, let's just keep an eye on rebel factions. Biggest chance is rebel Brazilian. English Brazilian rebels. So yeah, so they clearly headed west from here. 
or maybe they started last event. Take some cash, and we can't repay this loan yet. Okay, how many trips are we talking about? 15k? That's going to be a problem. Okay, so why don't we prepare for that? Uh, getting these guys down here. And once they pop up, we'll work together with these two armies. Actually, why don't we just move them here? It's 15k. We've got 15k troops here. No general, but... Generally, Separatist rebels aren't super professional. You jerks. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, you jerks? You guys are bad people. And I hope you know that. They're obviously going to capture this first if they siege it down, but they might run like that, so let's go ahead and take their country, 245 ducats. I would have liked more. Um, who knows exactly where they're going to go? We can't catch up to them. I'll just move over here. Penamba, sure. And they do have an ally. I don't know where their ally is. Probably right here somewhere. Sure, we'll pay that loan. I think that's here, actually. Yep. Let's see how much cash they have. I'm just wondering if it's worth it. Yes, they have 700 ducats. It is definitely worth it to siege them out. And here are Separatists popping up. Let's go ahead and shift consolidate and leave behind the 574, which could be dangerous if Kapua can get troops up there. And now we've got General. We do have to do a river crossing, and their rebels have arrived. I think we'll be okay. those. We'll just go up here, kill them, and then we'll probably get back down here before we see enemy troops making it all the way up here. Okay, hopefully you guys can't hear cat in the hallway whining. One second, let me try shushing it up. Okay, he was impervious to my appeals. Uh, let's go ahead and just leave behind one unit. So I'd rather not have these guys wiped out by whatever. 3500 are coming up, potentially coming up. Philosopher. Yeah. Okay. I'm a 
little bit of attrition. Yeah, we gotta get these guys in port. We want those points, but I really can't do much about that at the moment. Okay, there, there are troops. At least we can see them. Let's move. These guys actually to blockade. I think they can actually blockade here. I think that's considered coastal. Let's check that. Yes, it is coastal. As soon as it falls, we'll move this into this port. Actually, we'll probably just be able to beat them up for their money right now. And force our religion on them. Can we actually move? Yeah. Almost at the 150 we need here. And global trade and spawned. That probably won't spread to us very effectively. It's a problem because we didn't quite get caught out here. Our military tech is pretty good. And 40 inflation. And I can't justify dropping the inflation. I mean, is that more important really than coring London? It's a hard argument to make. Okay, let's move these guys up here to suppress those rebels. Okay, so we don't have too much debt left. We are running three colonies, so... I've got... Yeah, we're handling our expenses. Okay, England lost a lot of Ireland there. We're not allied with us or France any longer. <laughs> well, it's hard for me not to invade them at this point. They probably don't have much money for us to take, and that's what we'd really be after. Okay, let's drop this down. Yeah, for them. Do have these anti separatists? So I think once we convert these provinces, we're going to switch back over to the English region. Oh, we don't have an army suppressing those guys. That is unfortunate. Congrats, France.
really want this plus 10% morale. And each idea that we get here does make our military tech 2% cheaper. Okay, let's check out the spread of our global trade. We do have a center of trade here. 0.11, and we've got this 0.68. I think the trade power is 30. If we could get up to 35, it would increase more rapidly. So why don't we try developing it? I think it's at the 33, but it is going up much more rapidly. And that's gold, so we'll make more money. And that nearly doubled the speed at which it's increasing. And I think Mexico is also a center. No, it's not. It's named after Mexico, but it's not actually in Mexico. It's here. Okay, let's grant some Monopoly Charters, get some Diplo Points. I don't think we could develop here unless we use other points. So we'll spread pretty rapidly here once we get this province, but it won't spread very rapidly there. And this should be in Brazil. Yeah, we'll try to close that off. At least this development is getting us more money. We need to start paying these trips more. Okay, now we can start thinking about what we want to do next. Well, we can attack Portugal because the only person protecting them is Spain. And now they're attacking the papacy. How many trips Spain actually has? Ooh, they got way too many for us to be able to to handle. Unless we bring in, in France. Let's see, if we were to attack, we could get France involved. We couldn't get Tunis. I think it would be worth our time to wait till we have this last favor. Let's go ahead and top off relations here. As long as we rotate between which places we convert, I don't think we'll see any rebels popping up. I 
Uh, if this is going to be our war, then we might as well fabricate a claim. Of course, if we do draw France in, then Austria could probably attack them as well. And this will be the next place I want to convert. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to fighting all of this, too. Okay, I'm hoping that Spain's trips are spread out and Portugal drops her trips off in West Africa or something. Yeah, we could we can just wait. Okay, four hundred sixty-five ducats. Love that. 41% inflation. Okay, so we care about admin tech. At the moment, I'm inclined to say no, and I think I actually want to get our stability up one. If you convert to Christianity or Islam, we're not going to do that. Ooh, if we have a stability of two, we can get plus two missionary strength. That is definitely worth it. Because it will help us bring down our corruption among the religious unity and this higher stability. Just naturally gives us some reduction of corruption. I just need to save up 50 admin. Now all of this conversion is sped up. Income just went up. Okay, we can fabricate a claim. Now we could do it for something down here that they wouldn't be able to defend adequately. Possibly even something down here. But I'm not sure that we're going to have troops down here. Maybe... St. Martin? We just have one ship to get troops there. Might be the smart way to do it. Oh, St. Martin's ours. Yeah, it'd have to be in Caribas. Yeah. That's the province. Okay, let's pick up these trips and Get them down here. And let's get everyone to Lisbon. Oh, 
hope that they don't have any forts anywhere that would worry us. That's just one big loan. That's all we've got left. Let's go ahead and get that siege ability, get the morale of armies. Yeah, we've got 15 military tech. Let's definitely compare that to the Europeans before we do anything. Um, so we're still on on par with with Portugal. I'm curious Spain now oh, they're only fighting in Savoy now. Yeah, that will definitely help our conversions. Okay, Netherlands declares independence. Who is backing them? Sweden and England. Um, we can get an alliance with them, but we actually want to take them out. Now let's let's stay on this. So it's gonna have to be the Commonwealth. And we're gonna start paying our troops. Even though we still need to go up to London to grab some more. I'm just curious what would happen if we were to declare this war. We have to wait a couple months. I'm hoping that Spain won't even back him up. Well, we're still making cash, and pretty soon, let's see, Brabant. You're the emperor, aren't you? And you're allied to France? Yeah. Well, definitely. Um, so it looks a bit, you weren't defending the empire or anything like that, no? Not looking forward to having to take Holland, but they at least are allied to England, so if we attack England, then we can land and take this. Let's go ahead and build a spy network there and be prepared for that possibility. Wait for the first of the month, that way we don't have to to suffer any naval attrition for that month. Let's see, you're still not war against whom? Apparently Savoy and Netherlands. Uh, let's forget about this guy because we're going to need to declare this war. And France is at peace. Good. We just need to cut through the, these three provinces, but we do want to take the Portuguese capital f first. So we'll probably to declare this war on the 1st of August or something.
Okay, let's get France and Tunis in here. This might be really dumb. We're going for it. And pull these troops south. And if I only have one leader, I would like a second one if possible. How close? Yeah, we're not close to getting military tech 16, so we might as well get a second leader here. Otherwise, this army is vulnerable. Nice. Okay, let's actually switch them up. That way, our general with, with siege is handling the siege. And I think Tunis should be able to overrun all of this stuff. What can we get over there? We'd have to take out Toledo first, so we're marching straight for Toledo. And hopefully these Spanish troops will have a hard time getting back from wherever they are abroad. Yeah, they're going to move south. Occupying stuff. As long as we can hold on to the war goal and the Portuguese capital and just occupy all of this stuff, we should be able to force them to the peace table. I do want to take a look, quick look at Sunset Invasion. But we're at 32 minutes, so this is the appropriate stopping point.